Hi, my name is Ryan Taylor. I'm going to take about five minutes to show you guys how to make one of these platter trays out of ceramics. This is one that's already done. It's got a glaze coat over it. It hasn't been fired yet. This is essentially what we're going to be making. The first thing you're going to want to do is sketch out some ideas. Here I got my idea of the top, the side, and the legs. Besides the normal tools, you're going to need a bus that will help you create the round shape. So you measure out one slab about half an inch, and another slab about three quarters of an inch. Those are going to be the legs. Take all the weight. The first slab is going to be the, the main tray part. So once you got your basic shape idea, start measuring out, trimming it up, getting it to the, the shape that you want. Try to get it square so it looks nice and neat. Cutting off a little extra on the edges because I wanted that little flare on the edges. So I put about a quarter inch from the inner side and cut that off all the way out to the outer edge. And you can clean it up too just to kind of get it nice and neat. I know the slab rollers kind of put it out kind of nasty. And I'm going to try something different, put some grape nuts over top of it. And what it does, I'm going to press it inside of the clay and it's going to leave indentations inside the clay. Once it gets fired, the grape nuts are going to get burned out, but it's still going to leave those holes. So like I said, just kind of press down, make sure they're in place, and they're not going to be pouring, falling over, and just flip your slab right over on top of the bust. And once it's on the bust, you could start making sure it's in the middle and then just start pressing down from the middle outward taking the, the concave bus there now you gotta do your legs so measure out the design that you want in your legs here I put one on top of the other and as long as you cut pretty straight you can get away with that so I want them to be identical. Finish. Now you're going to want to find the spot where you're going to attach the legs and I measured in, I think, about four inches from the ins the outside and then from the inside, too. That way you're not going blind where you're going to put the legs on. Go ahead and slip and score. And then do the same thing to the legs. Just press them on there nice and tight. Try to get that clay to bond in there. I went ahead and measured again just to make sure they're in the right spot. Now these are a little bit heavy legs, so I, I put some supports under there too. And also made sure that they were angled out evenly. You're going to want to cut them because they're sticking out at an angle. Use a board on top that helps you make sure that it's going to be flat once you once it's dried and flipped over. And then go ahead and cover it for a couple days, and you're good.